This is a title view of the brain. We have the corpus callosum here, knee and splenium. Here is the cingulate gyrus. This is the thalamus, hypothalamus and cell ventricle, opticiasm, the pituitary gland. This is the midbrain, the brainstem, midbrain, bones and medulla. This is the fourth ventricle. It is limited above by the aqueductus of Silvius and below by the obex. The lateral part is the recess of the lateral of the fourth ventricle uh, that they open to the foramen of Lushka and to the cerebellocontine angles. This is a dorsal view of the fourth ventricle, so it's like um, seeing the fourth ventricle through here. So this is the superior cerebellar peduncles. This is the middle cerebellar peduncles. Um, we have this medial sulcus that divides the floor of the fourth ventricle into the right and left um, parts that they are symmetric. So this would be the right part and this is the left part. Um, we have another sulcus in each half of the floor of the four ventricles, that is the sulcus limitans, is this, this, and separates the every half in the medial part, that is like a elevation, this is called the medial eminence, and the lateral vestibular part. The sulcus limitans is more prominent in the pontine part, and the vulvar part or the medulla part uh, where it forms the superior and the inferior fovea. So this here would be the superior fovea and here the inferior fovea. The medial eminence has the uh, folliculus of the facial nerve that is this. This folliculus or the facial uh, folliculus is above the abducent nucleus and the medial eminence has something called the calamus descriptorius that is the hypoglossal triangle here that would be above or yeah, above the hypoglossal nucleus. It is medial to the inferior fovea and caudal to the inferior fovea and lateral to the hypoglossal triangle is the vagus triangle that is above the vagus, the dorsal vagus nucleus. This is called the gray wing and the hypoglossal triangle is the white wing and they together with the area postrema that is lateral to the vagus triangle. It would be here uh, is this part is just rostral to the obex that the obex is the inferior border of the floor of the fourth ventricle so the hypoglossal triangle the vagus triangle and the area postrema from the calamus scriptorus and the area postrema receive it receives input from the histamine receptors type one Muscarinic receptors type 1, dopamine receptors type 2, neurokine um, receptors, and the receptors for the 5-hydroxytryptamine type 3. The area postrema is like the center of nausea and vomitus. And in the rostral part of the floor of the four ventricle is this part that has a bluish discoloration and this called the locus ceruleus is where neurons that release norepinephrine are. And this like stria is called the medullaris stria of the four ventricle. So here we have again this is the floor of the four ventricle. We have the pontine part, the vulvar part, and the junctional part. This is the medial eminence. We have the uh, facial colliculus, the hypoglossal triangle, 
y vagus, triangle y obex, y locus ceruleus, cupigir, y socos, y medial socos, y socos imitans, inferior fobia, and superior fobia. This is the um, tectum of the brain. We have the superior folliculus, inferior folliculus, and the this is the fourth nerve, or the trochlear nerve, that is the only one that arises from dorsal to ventrally. And here we have the trigeminus, facial, and vestibulocochlear nerves. 